States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence for the sick, handicapped, departed, and the military personnel in this community. Thank you.
And so we're now ready to award the third and fourth graders. This year we can only get some of them to join in, but it will be hopefully in a week or two that we will award these kids, third and fourth graders, their idea of what the oil found in Pennsylvania in 1853, what changes and differences it made in their life. Their answers were rather interesting. Then, of course, May 30th, Decoration Day. Expect to see you all at the parade. Uh, we always sponsor the Civil War reenactors group, and we are going so again this year. Uh, June 18th, we'll be on the Avenue. Of course, we're five at once. These parades looking to sell some stuff. Um, we are still looking. We are uh, getting raffle tickets from my employer, uh, four tickets to a pirate baseball game, along with the parking pass. We'll let you know because we'll be selling your chances. Um, then we're looking for someone to give us donate, a uh, big donation to two Steeler tickets to raffle. Then, let's see, the last but not least is back to borough business. On Sunday at 11.30 a.m., going south on Washington Avenue, I sat through three red lights. Three. Chartier Street was as empty as it ever gets, but Washington and Catholics were still in church. Bethany was still in church. It was Mother's Day, but I was not too appreciative of the third red light. And then this morning at 8.25, I sat through two red lights while they emptied Chartier Street. Now, I live on Chartier Street. I purposely don't go that way because I don't want to sit there, but it's turning around and for me. And that's my complaint, and I thank you very much, and hope to see you soon. Thank you. It's Paul Fryer. Mary, yeah, you're back. Excuse me, one second. Yeah. Is son presenting on the 21st? It's Kurt's son. It's Kurt's son is going to be presenting. Yes. It should be very nice. Yes. Um, oh, I hope all birds will come. Thank you. 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 Thank this is the parking area right across the virtual towers where I think the parking authority put in five or six places that are parallel parking. I was going to say, I made this quite a while ago and I it just had it large. But uh, I think about four or five years ago, I brought to your attention some petitions and a letter from Larry Rank at the moment that Building the Parks is asking for something like this. I'm going to, I'll get you a copy of this, but I just want to show you a different way of doing it that's more effective. This red line is the line that the police chief has defined, I'm sorry, the fire chief has defined as a point where he would prefer not to have you know, cars. I didn't that, say that. Oh, I thought maybe you did. Yeah, I didn't say anything like that. I told you, you cannot do that. And years ago, Joe and I went down there and I showed him when we put our trucks up there and you put them outriggers off them ladder trucks to use it. You cannot park anything there. Well, the only way you can get away with is right the way it is right now. That's it. I will not sign off on anything else for Don Air. I'm not asking you to. You yes, you are. You're asking the borough and all that, and it's going to come to me because I made the thing Bill, five years Bill, ago, Bob. You're misunderstanding Bob. what I'm saying. Well, how about let me talk, Bob? Let me finish. No. But, no. But, I've had enough. Excuse me. This red line. Oh, you, you need you have the final. Yeah, right. you, can, you can comment after I'm done, Bill. Uh, this red line is the line that the fire department is okay because it is within between this red line and the trees that the parking lots exist now. So with Bill, Bill must be anticipating that parking on an angle would extend the uh, ends of the cars out past the line he's already authorized. All right. So point number two is <clears throat> the reason that this is, is possible is. You have a, a five-foot sidewalk right there that's unnecessary. If you know, if you take a look at the parking lots, sometimes 60 
of the parking spaces in that lot have no sidewalks. Uh, I guess I, I, I have no idea why they put one there, especially since there's one across the street in front of uh, the original towers and the, the running up alongside the birds and so on. The thing I wanted to point out to you is I, I mentioned this to the, uh, to the chairman of the parking authority, and I was to give him the drawing. As you know, he fell and broke his hip the next day. And I, I just haven't had a chance to talk about it. Oh, you gave him the drawing? Yeah, before, did that before I gave him the drawing? Yeah, first. I wasn't going to That's good. But anyway, my point is, is I, I carefully, uh, if you ever get the funds to do something like this, I'm carefully arranging these. They're all on 45 degree angles. The ends of the cars, by the way, these spaces I designed for like, said 10 foot by 20 foot, which is sort of spacious. The average car on an angle it extends about 15 feet out into the area. But if you get a chance, uh, when I give you a copy of this, the poles and the trees are off and in this, I think this is an electrical apparatus of some sort, but at any rate, they're all within four or five inches of accuracy. And I can, uh, I'll, I'll give you a copy, Joe. I don't know if you do the work for the Parking Authority. Yeah, I've done the work for the Parking Authority. And we did a study. I have to find the study that we did. Phil was gracious enough to bring oh, no. it. We brought the biggest truck that you had to have for Carnegie, or for Bridgeville Towers. Yeah. I think we had your equipment. I think we had Carnegie's equipment there at the same time. Spot Township. At Spot Township. Mm -hmm. And we proved what we needed to have for clearance. Yes, I'll back then, because that's what they were proposing back then. Remember, we right. marked the road, marked the road, and everything, and it cannot happen. And I do want to have on record that I did not recommend that line or anything to them. Excuse me, please look that on record. Bill, this is the line that you all, that's within the parking space. I did not say I went on record, Bob. Let me speak. It's my turn. You're right. You want to throw things. I did not say anything to him about a line or recommendation. I want that on record. Uh, wait, 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 not to me. Uh, Bill, did I you didn't not, say, excuse me, five years ago we asked you to do this, you said no. What has changed? The parallel parking we can get. They didn't want, I say no to that. When they approached me and asked me if we could do parallel parking, I said yes. But, but it's yes. this the design there's, I'm showing you is no within the same dimension as the parallel. No, it isn't. He doesn't understand. I yes, I do it. understand, Bob. So because just, we did it with Joe's sites and we marked it off as an angle like that. But when we bring them trucks in to do what we have to do up there, you cannot set them trucks up. Any day you want to see it, I'll prove you wrong. You're talking about taking the sidewalk up. Yeah, well, we just well, lost it. You're taking out the sidewalk of your design. Of course. I'm okay. taking out the sidewalk and you're, so he's you're, you're he's progressing the I don't want to lie to him. Anyway, yeah. Bill, what's the length of, what was the height, what was the extent of the ladder and the longest ladder truck that you had before you got the new one? They're all the same, roughly. Yeah. What are they, 100 feet? Yeah. Yeah. But you're, you're, that's not the point. Bob, it's the outriggers going out that stabilizes that truck to go up to the 100 feet in there. Yeah, I know. You're talking an eight foot, 18 foot print. Actually, you're right, it's 16 foot. No, it's 18 foot. Well, at any rate, I talked to the guy who designed your truck in the ladder, and this is what he said. That's Bridgeville Towers. This is the 40 foot Bridge Bank Street. Uh, if, if you parked your truck all the way against the curb, it would only go to the fifth floor. You have to get closer to go to the tenth, but that's not the point. Uh, he still was understanding. So what I'm pointing out to you guys is that line, uh, with, with, you know, the six parking and five parking spaces they have now, that was in that red line, this angular system is I'll get you copies of that one. The other thing I wanted to uh, bring to your attention is far more important. Uh, we're watching the math there. Hey Bob, can I ask you a quick question? Bob, yes. Who did you talk to about the fire truck? The design of the fire truck? One of the uh, people at the Pierce. They, they manufacture the truck. Yeah, I know. Do you have his name? Uh, you talk to him? I have it at home. I'll be glad to uh, for bring it in next time. Yeah, that's right. Uh, more importantly, however, uh, this is a section of Washington Avenue from the post office down to the seven lane bridge that I understand the task force is going to build. You tell me something. 
is uh, I heard from a third party that the task force <coughs> there's been a consensus of opinion that they uh, everybody seems to agree they like the seven lane bridge you'll be uh, talking about that later in the manager's report okay well then I'll just I'll make this brief but I want to point out something important to you guys <coughs> but, uh, the uh, I, I think I mentioned to, I described to all of you guys to go to that night in addition to the additional lane on Chartier Street, so you have two stacking lanes coming down and going across the bridge, you should put a radius on this turn so it's easier to get in the bridge belt. But it's important to, to taper this curve from this uh, turn, excuse me, up to James Street so you can get a left turn stacking lane here. So take this opportunity. 50 feet away from a bridge, it's going to be there for 75 or 100 years. To not put a left turn stacking line in there, the Mary was complaining about it, plus so a great many other people. If one, the way it is right now, unless you can get them to modify the task force tentative plan, one car turning left there will tie up 25 to 30 cars behind it. It turns what's supposed to be a four lane road into a single lane road, and that one car jams up, it, it congests the traffic. So I think uh, I'd like to see you guys do that. Instead, one of the <laughs> Yeah, when I was here the last time, I suggested, or asked you guys to send a lot of people to ask them to do the traffic volumes on the Bauer Hill Road, Washington Avenue intersection, and the Station Street, Washington Avenue intersection. I'd like to see them do that again, because it's from these two intersections that the cars come down here and are obstructed by the left turn. Well, I'm sure it's All right? That's a point. I'm anxious to hear that. Okay, I'll come up. Thank you. 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 Thank and Bill uh, Tulsi. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Motion carries. Uh, current estimate number two and final Washington Avenue Sanitary Sewer Repair Project. The motion of the Borough of Thompson regarding the remittal of current estimate number two and final Washington Avenue Sanitary Sewer Repair Project to Rotor Rooter in the amount of $122,948.39 for work completed to date. Uh, estimate has been reviewed by Engineer Suggs. So moved. Uh, second. Oh, Bruce and we'll go uh, close. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Uh, all those opposed? Motion carries. Resolution number 2016-03, motion of the Borough Council regarding resolution number 2016-03, a resolution creating a handicapped parking space with the appropriate signage and providing penalties for violations thereof. The property location is 1355 Terrace Street. So moved. Second. Bill Henderson and Neil Lyons. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Motion carries. Resolution number 2016-04, motion of the Borough Council regarding resolution number 2016-04 as per PennDOT requirements 1.10.14, 1 signs and banners across State Highway. A resolution designating the intention uh, of St. Barbara Parish to place one banner across State Route 50 to be installed May 22, 2016 and removed on June 5th. 2016 for the St. Barbara Summer Festival to be held June 3rd, 2nd, 3rd, and 4th from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. So we will uh, proceed again for the Gallery Chief. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion carries. Resolution number 2016-05, motion of the Borough Council regarding Resolution number 2016-05, as per PennDOT requirements, 1.10.14, signs and banners across state highways. The resolution designating the intention of the Bridgeville Borough to place one banner across state Route 50 to be installed May 15th, 
2016 and remove June 19, 2016 from the original borough day on the avenue celebration to be held June 18, 2016 from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. <coughs> Joe Gucci and, and Bill Pulsey. All those in favor? Aye. All those opposed? <coughs> Motion carries. Ad hoc committee. Uh, Baldwin Street fl uh, Flow Reduction Program. Uh, President Homer appointed an ad hoc committee to work to provide a flow reduction program for the Baldwin Street area for the consideration of council. Uh, four requests for information were sent. 17 response have been received. I need, a, I need a motion. So moved. Oh, second. Bruce Calarucci and Bill Henderson. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? The motion carries. I will work on develop, uh, get putting that committee together. Uh, bill list. Uh, motion to borough council regarding the May 2016 bill list. So moved. Bruce Calarucci and Joe Perducci. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? The motion carries. Payrolls. Uh, motion to borough council approving the payrolls of May 13, 2027, and June 3 and 10, 2016. So moved. Bruce Galarucci. Second. And Neil Lyons. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Motion carries. Monthly reports. Motion to accept and pay any commissions due the April 2016 real estate tax collector report. So moved. Bruce Galarucci. And Bill Colusi. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Motion carries. Motion to accept the March 2016 financial report. All those. Joe Producey. And Bruce Gallarici. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Motion carries. Motion to accept the April 2016 police report. So moved. Bill Henderson and Bill Colusi. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Motion carries. And a motion to accept the April 2016 zoning report. So moved. Who was that? Bill Henderson and, <coughs> and Bruce Gallagher. All those in favor? Aye. Uh, uh, all those opposed? Motion carries. Media report. Administration. Bruce Gallagher. Media report, sir. Right. Uh, finance. Joe Ducey. Uh Financial scene to be in line. I uh, do have some concerns with the collections uh, on the past due payments. Uh, Lori has been in touch with the company and we are going to continue to monitor those collections, uh, uh, which is very necessary. That's all I have to report. Thank you very much. Uh, Parks and Recreation, Joe, the class one. Uh, sure, report. Uh, <clears throat> the gazebo down at Triangle Parks and uh, desperate, not desperate here, but it needs a new roof and uh, it needs cleaned up. There's some graffiti inside, so. Public Works is going to be taking care of that. Uh, Don Chartier's Park, uh, couple, we placed a couple sinks in the uh, new restrooms down there. I guess one of them fell off the wall, so it's time to put some new industrial strength sinks in down there. So it sort of looks like a jail, I guess, but they'll be very functional and they'll serve the purpose. Yeah, that's all I have. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> Uh, Public Works. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, they got all these banners up all over Bridgeville. They're working pretty decent. Yeah, they look good, as usual. Thank you very much. Uh, Public Safety, Bill Henderson. Yeah, thanks. Uh, two things. Uh, first of all, and you'll see the manager's report, we've been talking about the block on the road, and TennDOT has um, agreed to restrike the road on a resurfacing project and they're going to move that stripe over. So it looks like we're going to accommodate two lanes of 10-foot traffic and one lane of 8-foot parking. Yeah, so thank you for your help on that. I appreciate it. And we'll continue to monitor that as, as they redo that. Um, and the other thing I have is a motion authorized a solicitor to prepare an ordinance for stop signs at Pesavento in Maine, where the, um, the new road will be coming in, into Bridgeville. So that's a form of motion. Uh, Bruce Calabucci and Bill Kalisky. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Motion carries. Uh, 
mayor's report. What a lazy um, Let's start with the flag day at the Bridgeville War Memorial on June 14th, beginning at 7 o'clock. Uh, it's normally a very short ceremony, but it is very moving, and I would urge all of you to attend, uh, along with the other events that are uh, going on in our community over the next month or so. Uh, <coughs> so, uh, so it's the, uh, the flood control. I know that, uh, that they met recently regarding flood control, and I was curious as to um, whether Bridgeville has gotten the information necessary to give back to them. Yeah. Again, the meeting we had at Donald Burrow was from the number of communities who are participating in the study. I would like to give information to uh, Bridgeville this week at Public Works, go out, take pictures, and measure the uh, structures along the stream. And, that the information is due to uh, the core by the AGA. Well, I have another vision interest. Yes. That's one they want. That'll help them be able to put together their budget and make a request to uh, Congress for funding. Absolutely. It moves at a glacial pace. The government does move. I know. So thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, please, Chief Chuck no, no report. Thank you. Not no report. Thank you. Uh, solicitor, um, I know. No, no report? Yep. <laughs> Thank you. Why not? <laughs> Tom sends the report. <laughs> Uh, engineer sites. Uh, one of the things in my report we've already talked about, uh, about the contracts here for Alex Paris. We'll get them set back to them so we can get a construction unit looking to start on the road program uh, in June. Uh, Washington Avenue is moving along pretty good there from Bower Hill to uh, Chartiers. I think there's still discussion with Coliseo and the water company in Lane regarding section from St. Clair up to Bower Hill as to how that's supposed to be restored. I think there's a debate depending on whether it's supposed to be half the width or the full width of the road based on the uh, services that were done by uh, the water company. Uh, the Washington James developer would not receive any submission since the developer's representative was present at the December 2015 council meeting. So we're still waiting on that. Can I sure, go ahead. Um, I had sent a letter to Dr. Rory requesting that they backfill that, and he had called me and said they needed to do some work and that wasn't possible. Well, it's a public safety hazard now with water and mm -hmm. roads and those type things, so I turned it over to our building inspector, and he's going to give a 20-day turnaround or it will be enforced because it just can't stay like that because I don't think they have plans on, on building this year. So that is being addressed. <coughs> Uh, and we can add on to our next thing. Uh, the, the task force will meet in April 25th with Pendlock, Newberry, task force members, and the staff of the state representatives, the SPC, the Allegheny County Department of Economic Development. <coughs> Newberry's made a commitment to provide additional funding for the improvements as a result of their discussion with Pendlock. Pendlock is still waiting for funding to be provided from the project pending the grants that have been associated with the project being released with regards to the budget. But Pendlot has made the decision to move ahead with the design based on the concept plan so that uh, they have a shovel ready project ready to go once the uh, funding for construction is released. Yeah. All right, so they're doing an RFP now for the design that will go through this year mm -hmm. so that next year we would be ready for construction. So they're looking at put a shovel in next year. That's all I have. Question. They're talking about a shovel next year on the bridge part, but are they still talking about a shovel this year on the part in South Bay the Newberry store? I don't think they are. They're more concerned about getting the bridge designed, get that out for the next year of that. Right, but what about Newberry's HOP? They don't work. Okay, okay. Yeah, just the they work path. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. That's all. Thank you very much. All right, Chief. We'll chill you. Thanks, Mr. President. Uh, we had our cash pass over the weekend. It was a 
good success. It was a really nice turnout. Everybody had a good time. Um, we thank everybody for the support. And that's all I got. Thank you very much. Uh, Southbridge EMS, Dan Miller. Uh, a couple months of stats provided for you, and otherwise, no report. Thank you very much. Deputy uh, is not here from the library. Uh, borough manager. Um, I, I submitted a report. I just wanted to let you know, uh, as far as salt goes, because it's very important. Um, we have taken advantage and sent our um, letter to request an extension for the contract for an, the first option year notification. That was due on March 1st. They received it April 15th. So um, they will um, have to, and it, we should be getting something in writing tomorrow. Um, whether it's their intention to continue the contract right now, or if not, then the shape will be bid. So I just want to make sure that we have everything in the community to, uh, to uh, get in there. And I think we've talked about um, most of the other things that I had listed in, in my report as far as the task force goes. We're excited about that moving forward. Um, Pennsylvania, the Pittsburgh Water and Sewer Authority Regionalized Source Reduction Study. We did send a letter of question of interest um, um, into PWSA just so that we have the option of being included in that project. And that's a source reduction project for, um, if, for, yeah. And it could be not in our community, but we could get credit for that because we could use it for um, some model in our community as right. part of the consent of the requirements. But we're not sure if that's something that we need to do yet, but we have our foot in the door in case we decide we want to do that. I got a quick question on um, the Washington Avenue Railroad Trust for Sidewalk. Mm -hmm. I know we're trying to get them to fix right. it. Right. I was on the phone for about an hour on Friday uh, regarding the sidewalk. Um, there's a new representative in Pendon, and what they had told me was because I had been sending emails saying, where, you know, where are we as far as the sidewalk cycle yeah. goes? And she finally gave me a call back and said that they had an ADA curb ramp project scheduled in conjunction with the Washington Avenue paving. Um, and they were going to add that sidewalk onto that, onto that um, contract. But what has happened is Washington Avenue does not need ADA curb ramps because we did our streetscape, streetscape project. So there's no curb ramp project issue which means that they're not going to do anything with the trestle for us. So, well, not right now, because there's no curb ramp project going on, and they were, gonna, they were going to kick that onto the back of that, and there isn't any schedule because the curb ramp's going to be done. So she suggested that, and I talked to Fred Sapp, our building inspector. Um, we verbally met with the railroad um, probably a year ago. They told me they weren't going to do anything. Um, that, that was a gentleman from the real estate department. We are going to send out a form of notification to them that is a public safety hazard. There's ponding, icing, people walking on the roadway. The borough does have the option um, in our borough ordinance if we have an unsafe situation, we can remediate it and um, surcharge them for the cost. I don't know um, how successful we would be at getting money um, returned from the railroad. So we have that option, but I would suggest that give us um, a little bit of time to take okay. this. Um, you know, yeah, we, you know, when Pendot said they were going to handle it, I, you know, I concentrated on that, but we're going to push a little harder with okay. them and their legal department to see if we can't get something done. That's so that's yeah, I'd, I'd be in favor of moving that forward. Yeah. I mean, that, you know, I was telling you earlier, of all the complaints you get at Bridgeville, that's probably yeah. the one I hear yeah. the most. Yeah. What an eyesore that is, and, and how unsafe it is. And we can um, get some prices yeah, for you. As you see, um, we should probably get some prices so we at least so can move have forward. An idea. And get, oh, yeah, yeah, no, we can jump on it, yeah. and we'll try to target them. And if we get it, great. Yeah. If not, then okay. it's good to decide. We, we can do that. Yeah, we can do that. Thank you very much for the uh, Old business. New business. Make a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Bruce and Jeff. All those in favor?